Consult a physician before starting this or any exercise program. Multitasking exercises are definitely the way to go if you're a busy fit mom. Try the squat curl. You're doing a squat and a curl at the same time. Remember, you always want to have proper body alignment, spine erect, chin up, shoulders back, your abs tight, and your knees slightly bent at the start of the motion. You want to squat down until your thighs are parallel to the floor, and at the same time you're squatting, curl that weight up, keeping the elbows tight into the waist. This feels so good because I'm strengthening my legs and shaping my bicep muscles all at the same time. You can also do this exercise with the Kiana Fitness Band. Stand on the band, feet shoulder width, elbows tight into the waist, and squat down. You want to keep the tension on the band throughout the entire motion. Make sure your shoulders stay directly over the hips and you sit down as if you're sitting in a chair. Okay, lastly, you can do it with the fitness balls, which is a really terrific product that we just added to the online store. Elbows tighten to the waist, chin up, shoulders back, and squat. So if you have limited time to work out, make sure you try multitasking exercises like the squat curl. Hey Fit Moms, the foundation for healthy living starts with us. Here are some tips that my mom gave me that I pass on to my own daughters. In Letterman fashion, here are my top 10 Fit Mom tips. Number one, always trust your gut reaction. If something doesn't feel right, it isn't. Number two, people are basically good. Believe the best in people until you're proven wrong. Number three, stay away from energy vampires. Instead, surround yourself with positive, genuine people. Number four, do something with a smile or don't do it at all. Number five, get 15 minutes of sunshine every day. Number six, give something to a busy person and it will get done. Number seven, be around children. It keeps you young. Number eight, always take the time to stop and really listen. Number nine, Eat a bite of the dessert first, because you never know what's going to happen. And number 10, exercise is the fountain of youth. It's so much fun to read all of the emails I receive from moms all over the world, from as far away as India, Dubai, Germany, Japan, Australia, even soldiers in the Middle East who are moms. Here's a workout just for you that you can do in five minutes to tighten up your legs and your butt. Start off with the plie squat. Start with your knees directly over the ankles, set your position, proper body alignment, head in a neutral position, spine erect, shoulders back, abs tight, and let's get started. Let the weight hang directly underneath your chin and lower down. This is different from the traditional squat because I'm doing it in a plie motion which puts more of the emphasis on your upper inner thigh. You can also feel this in the lower part of your butt. That's often a hard part to train, so this is a terrific problem-solving exercise for common trouble areas for women. You want to do 10 to 15 repetitions. Notice I'm lowering down until my thighs are just about parallel to the floor and push up through the heels, contracting the muscles in the glutes. A few more. And last two. And one. Okay, now we'll move on to another exercise. This is also for the butt. It's called the single leg lunge. You want to put your back foot up on a chair. Hop forward until your front leg is extended. You want to make sure that your knee is directly over the ankle. Now because your back foot is up, you're putting all the emphasis on your front leg or front glute. This is a little bit harder and it's more challenging. You want to do 10 reps on each leg. can really feel it in throughout the glutes and the thighs. Feels so good. You can do this entire workout in five minutes, Fit Moms, so there's no excuse. Three more. 
last two, and one. Okay, the last exercise is for the glutes. Take your Kiana Fitness Band, put it around both ankles, hold on to a chair, and flex back. This is working the area in the upper part of the butt, right through here. Notice the limited range of motion keeps the tension on the upper area of the butt. Then you switch. You want to exhale as you lift that leg up. So beginners, you want to do one complete circuit. When you're intermediate or advanced, work your way up to three times in a row doing the plie squat, the single leg lunge, and the leg kicks. Here's a terrific exercise to strengthen and tone the entire shoulder area. It's a combination movement which is great for you multitasking moms out there. Proper body alignment, let that weight hang comfortably and lift it up to the side for a side raise. And then you move it to the front, lift it up to the front for a front raise. So it's side and front. Make sure the weight stays in the same plane as your body. When you lift it to the front, make sure that pinky goes directly in front of the anterior deltoid. Focus on keeping the core muscles tight and a strong stance. Whenever you exercise, you want to make sure your body is strong and you have a nice firm stance and your core is strong and tight. 10 to 15 repetitions on one arm, move on to the other, side and front. Whenever I'm pressed for time, which is all the time now that I have two kids, I try to pick exercises that work a combination of muscle groups in one motion. This is a much more effective way of training. You get faster results because you're doing more in less time. You can also do the side front raise using the Kiana Fitness Band. Same motion, just using a different piece of equipment. My goal here on Fit Mom TV is to show that you can do a variety of exercises in the convenience of your own home with any type of equipment. So there's no excuse not to work out. We're going side for the side delt, front for the front delt. Very simple, side and front. Great. Let me show you how to do it with the Kiana Fitness Balls. These are three pounds. You can do both arms at the same time. Knee soft, bring it up to the side, down and up to the front. You can try this right along with me or take notes and try it in the gym. And when you bring the weights up to the side, it gives you that nice width in the side area of the delts. When you bring it to the front, it gives you that nice cut and separation in the anterior delt. So next time you want a good shoulder workout, try the side and front raises. Keep it up. Okay, Fit Moms, thanks for joining me today on Kiana's Fit Mom TV. Goodbye from the St. Regis Resort in Monarch Beach, and we'll see you next time.